can't score from second base. So our lead needs to be such that we could take two bases. Remember from home plate around the second, we took an angle out away from first base in order to bring us to second base. It's the same thing we're going to do here. We're going to use our basic rocker step. We're going to leave at the top of the pitcher's windup. Now, when I leave this base, I am not going in a straight line unless I'm stealing. I am going to take an angle out away from the baseline so that when that ball is hit and I can score, my body is in a position to do that. So let me show you the difference in the angles. Leaving at the top of the pitcher's windup. Why? Because I have time at this distance to take a great lead and still get back safely to the base. So at the, at the lead here, if I go straight for a steal, my angle is this way, right in the middle of the baseline. And if I'm thinking she's going to hit it through, I'm scoring from second, my angle is this way towards the shortstop, putting me in a better position to hit third and come straight into home. Okay, and what Lisa's going to demonstrate here would be a straight steal from second to third, taking her lead off with the pitcher at the top of her circle. Good. the base. What our runners do when they get to second base is think score. That's all they do. So what Sarah's going to do is take her lead such that she's in a position to score from second base. She's going to come to an angle outside a straight line. You see the difference in the angle for a steal and the angle Sarah just took for continued running. Okay, so Sarah's going to leave at the pitcher's top of the circle and show us what it takes to get to home from second base.